We have attributed the cause to a bacterial infection, even though the autopsy report for the deceased is not ready. One more student of Kumasi Academy Senior High School has been confirmed dead Tuesday, December 5. This brings the number of students who have died since last week to four. Anxious parents besieged the school premises this morning to demand the immediate release of the awards. Some managed to forcefully take the awards, whilst others were prevented by the police. The Ashanti Regional Minister and officials from the Ghana Education Service and Ghana Health Service visited the school. The meeting ended abruptly after two students collapsed and were rushed to the hospital. Good. Some worried parents said the safety of their wards can no more be guaranteed in the school. The Ashanti Regional Director of Health Services, Dr. Emmanuel Tinkran, pleaded with parents to be calm. He disclosed the cause of the deaths is a typical bacterial infection. And all the tests for viral hemorrhagic fevers, they are negative. That means that it's not any viral hemorrhagic fever. We've done all the tests for meningitis. They are negative. So it shows that the condition is not what? Meningitis. But from the pathologist's report, we believe that there is an infection and most probably it's bacteria infection. And because of the fatality, most probably it's one of the atypical bacteria that we are dealing with. And that's the reason why we believe that we, we start with broad spectrum antibiotics as azithromycin. Most probably we may be able to contain the infection. The Ashanti Regional Minister Simon Osei Mensah hinted that the school be closed down indefinitely after the vaccination for thorough investigation on the campus. Uh, we are appealing to all the parents that they should allow their children to take the dose. They are taking for three days and after the three days we will consult the Minister of Education and close down the school indefinitely for in-depth analysis environmental study to be done to unearth what is causing this type of disease in this particular school. Some people were alleging that it's because of environmental change. I don't believe that. I don't believe that because we have several senior high schools here. Why academy alone? Despite assurances from the officials, some parents are still not satisfied with leaving their wards in the school. They want an immediate solution to the incident. In April this year, four students of the school also died of meningitis. Now, as one would expect, parents have been incredibly worried about this situation, as you saw in the story, rushing to take their children back home. And many have described the occurrences at this, at Kumaka, in fact, as mysterious deaths, given that it hasn't just begun this December. It, in fact, started over earlier in April. And I'm going to run us by these so-called mysterious deaths at Kumaka. Now, in April 2017, three students died within 15 days. And these students were granted permission to go home for treatment after they complained of sickness and they died while at home. So these three students died while at home and not in the school. Over 100 parents following this occurrence, over 100 parents stormed Kumaka after some of the wards reported of food poisoning incident in the school. So this has us know that it's been going on for some time now. In December, on December 1, 2017, two first year students of the school died under mysterious circumstances and December 3, 2017, a first year general arts student who goes by the name Fodjua Ferguson Livingstone died at the Comfanoche Teaching Hospital also due to relatively mysterious circumstances and on December 5 today, female students has increased body temperature and died after being rushed to the hospital and so this has us know the series of events that have been happening at the school it has been attributed to meningitis their claims of it being ebola which in fact have not been confirmed and the main concern here is what exactly is leading to this because it's leading to the loss of lives of these students and